Hey you guys, Freddie Jenkins here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Jackie Chan's films. Um, he's a great martial artist, great comedian, um, and you wonder, um, most of his movies are good, right? Well, that's not really the case. I, I picked five of his best, and he may have more, but I really haven't seen that many around, I guess. Um, but here's his top five. Now, number five is the first Rush Hour film. Uh, first one's really good. Um, it, it's very interesting with the characters, the combined um, race and all that of Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan. It, it's an interesting film. Uh, I didn't care for the second or the th third too much because the second and the third really lack in the story and... Um, in the third one, they introduce Kenji, which is supposedly Lee's one of his brothers or something. I don't know. They didn't really give us too much backstory, and it was lacking the third, and so was the second with the um, character, the villain knowing the character, Lee, um, Jackie Chan, of course, and you wonder how, and they really didn't mention how they knew each other. They just said they knew each other and the first one was really good because it really connected well and um it always had something new with it and it had the the very famous war what is it good for with them dancing with their arms in the air and all that yeah the first one was great um and it's one of Jackie Chan's best um the fight scenes there really weren't too many but I like the fight scene in the bar against Jackie Chan, the black people when he mentions the N-word. Um, yeah, it was pretty funny, just him kicking the shit out of them. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Um, I mean, hey, he's he's come to America, and if you teach him something, he's going to do it, you know? And then number four is Tuxedo. Um... This one wasn't really that good, but it wasn't the worst. Um, it was it was good though with the story of him having a um having a tuxedo control you. That that was the most interesting part I thought, and the way that tuxedo controls him is like unimaginable, and it it see it turns him into a robot almost and. It's a pretty good movie, um, Jennifer Love Hewitt though was kind of annoying in it, and I didn't care for her character, I wish she died at the end, but she's hot, who knows, you know, why they kept her around, and anyway, then, number three is Operation Condor, and this is the one with him in the desert, I don't know if it's the first or the second, uh, but it's the one with him in the desert with those three girls, um, I really like this one because with his martial arts, it's different. Like, he really doesn't seem to attack as much as he defends himself. And I say it's pretty good to see him, like, doing defense moves and all that. And, man, he's against up, he's, uh, he's up against a whole army. <laughs> Sorry, I stuttered there for a second. Uh, I have that trouble. And... Operation Condor's good. The opening is really scary though. The theme to it is really cool. And it does have some scary scenes. And it's a good movie. So number two is Rumble in the Bronx. The first Jackie Chan film that was American that I saw. Um, it was very funny. Lots of good characters. Um good build up um I didn't like the second half as much as the first I thought the second half was like lacking but the first one was the first half was really good him kicking the crap out of punks and street gangs and all that that was a pretty good setup they did and then number one is the drunken master now the drunken master was a Chinese film but the way I watched it it was dubbed and I didn't care much for the dubbing, uh, but it was still a good martial arts film. I really liked it, and it was one of his best characters. Um, he did get his ass kicked in a couple of 
in like basically the three fourths of the movie gets his ass kicked. But it's really new to see him like not do poorly at martial arts and have somebody kick his ass, you know, but um that's the thing with the Chinese, you know? You never know who's gonna win. Anybody could be the best, you know? Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Jet Li, Donnie Yen. All of them. You never know. Okay. Moving on. Then we're gonna do his top five films that aren't as good as they could have been. And number five is Shanghai Nights. Um Shanghai Noon was alright, but eh, I really didn't care for it. Um but Shanghai Nights isn't really uh, the greatest film. I didn't care for the story. I didn't care for her sister. I, I just, eh, I didn't care for it. Um, number four is the Forbidden Kingdom, and yeah, the for the Forbidden Kingdom is not that great of a film. Uh, excuse me. Uh, it really wasn't the best film, and I don't know why it was even made. Number three is The Medallion. Oh my god. It was a complete stupid film. I didn't get the story of it. A medallion that heals and kills. and I didn't, I didn't care for it. I just don't care to know it. And then number two is The Karate Kid. My big issue with this film is not Jackie Chan. It's Jaden Smith. If he wasn't in that film... I wouldn't have had a problem with it. But Jaden Smith is the downfall for this. I can't stand Jaden Smith at all. And then number one is The Spy Next Door. Now, it has two terrible actors. George Lopez is a terrible comedian. And uh, Miley Cyrus' father, um, Billy Ray Cyrus. Why, you, why would you add these two stupid, horrible actors... Why? I mean, Jackie Chan was fine, the fine casting, but I didn't get it. Why would you add these two stupid... <clears throat> Why? You know? It's, it's terrible casting, and it's just going to happen more and more unless somebody points it out. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just speaking my mind here. I'm not trying to point out anything except for the fact that they're terrible actors. What are they doing in a Jackie Chan film? I mean, seriously, they'd be the last thing you think of in a Jackie Chan film, wouldn't they? I'd rather think Power Rangers than them. Wouldn't you? Okay, anyway. You guys, I'm done bashing and all that, and peace out.